Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today I have a vintage Barbie doll which I've wanted for so long, for so long I have wanted this doll, but she's very rare. She always costs a hell of a lot online, but I managed to find her for 30 pounds, which is still more than I usually spend on a Barbie, but I had to have her. I'm very excited. Ding! This is Hula Hair Teresa. I have Hula Hair Barbie as well, and I'm gonna show you her as well. I couldn't have found this doll at a better time because obviously summer's ending, and this doll just brings the sunshine. She looks incredible. I love that shade of blue. She's kind of matching me today. Love it. We're coordinated. We're best friends. Let me show you the box first of all. Now, I remember these dolls coming out when I was a kid. She came out in 1996. A really good year for Barbie in my opinion. And this box is very quintessential Barbie to me. It's very pink. I love the orange colour in the background, kind of like a sunset. There's some flowers up here in the corners. More flowers down here and a kind of blue sunset. It's very neon. I love it. There's the Hula Hair Teresa logo. Up here it says, Style my beautiful moonlit hair with flowers. So magical, so whimsical. I love it. Um, and then on the back, bam, there is this gorgeous picture of the three dolls you can get in this line. Obviously, I'm on the hunt for this one now. They just look so cool. Look at how they styled their hair. It just looks awesome. And then in the bottom here, it says that you can use her hula skirt as a crown. And then up here at the top of the box, there is a little story. It goes like this. Once on an island made of tropical dreams, a beautiful maiden danced amidst the moonlit beams. Oh, it rhymes. Then island magic filled the air and the moon placed its colors in her magnificent hair. I love that. It's so like fairy tale fantasy. So that is the box. Now I'm gonna take her out of the box and give you guys a closer look at this doll. Okay, so here she is. Bam! And she is amazing. I am living for this hula skirt. I'm living for her moonlit hair. Can we just take a moment to appreciate all of this. So, what should, we, what should we talk about first? Where do we begin? I don't even know. Let's look at her face. First of all, um, sometimes I think Teresa's face can look a bit weird, but this one is so cute, and she just looks absolutely adorable. I love her. She's got little earrings, soft pink lips, and a little fringe up here. Looks really adorable. The next thing I have to move on to is her incredible flowing hair. And this hair is just like overwhelming to me, honestly. First of all, let me just show you, she's got a little flower tucked under here, very cute. And then she's got this kind of twisty, braidy thing coming down, also with a little flower at the end. And then obviously, look how long this hair is. It's just gorgeous. She's got her natural hair color right on the top there. Um, and then there's pink and purple and blue, and they make a beautiful gradient of color through her hair. And also, the hair is amazing quality. It's really soft. I love this doll so much. If you couldn't tell, I love this doll. Okay, now if we move on to her bikini, it's very cool. It's got a kind of gold and blue shimmery sparkly pattern going on I and mean, it's tied up with some gold string and a gold piece of elastic goes around the back and then um obviously we have to talk about her incredible sparkly hula skirt the only problem with this hula skirt i found on my other hula hair barbie is that it gets tangled very easily and you have to be very very careful with it um, if you want to keep it looking as nice as this. Now the waistband for the hula skirt is covered in colourful flowers. The skirt itself is made of like a kind of tinsel, lameter kind of material. It just looks really cool and it flows really nicely. And then underneath she has bikini bottoms which match the bikini top. And one of the only problems I have with this doll is that 
the um, hula skirt kind of ends around the back, but that's fine, I can get over that. And she also has a little flower on her wrist as well. And these flowers can be moved around, um, they can be put in her hair, they can be put wherever you want them really. Another cool feature of this doll is that she has loads of articulation, makes her able to hula dance. <laughs> she can bend at the elbows and at the shoulder, and she can also bend at the knees. So that is Hula Hair Teresa, I absolutely love her. Please let me know what you think of her in the comments. Now let me show you Hula Hair Barbie. I love that with the 90s Barbies, they used to make sure that Teresa and Christy and Barbie all wore different colours, different styles. I thought that was really cool, it gave them a lot more collectability. Obviously her colour scheme is much more inspired by a sunset. Again, her hair is so soft, I love it! Her face is really adorable, she's got that 90s Barbie face, so cute. She's really suntanned as well, which I love. She's got a little pink flower in her hair there, and of course she has her twisted braid with a little yellow orange flower at the bottom there, and her hair is also incredible. Her natural hair colour is at the top there, and then it is a mix of yellow and orange and pink. I'm sure if I was still a child playing with this doll, I would get this hair completely ruined in a heartbeat. Then as for her outfit, she's got um, the same bikini top, but this time it's slightly different colours, it's an orange, and she has a hula skirt, this time it's in gold, and it just looks amazing. The flowers at the top are obviously pink and orange and yellow again, everything's very well coordinated, and then you can see her bikini bottom underneath there, and she also has a little flower on her wrist in orange. So that was my review of Hula Hair Barbie and Hula Hair Teresa. Well, it was more of me just fangirling over them for like five minutes. Please tell me what you think of these dolls in the comments. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new here and click the little bell icon so that you get notifications every time I post a new video. Also don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter and I will see you real soon doll fans. Bye!